हेलो दिस इज नंबर्स लेसन 7.1 इन दिस आई विल डिस्कस फैक्टर्स रिलेटेड टू कांसेप्ट इन द प्रीवियस लेसन आई डिस्कस दैट इफ n इज अ नंबर ऑफ द फॉर्म p1 पावर x p2 पावर y एंड p3 पावर z वेयर p1 p2 p3 आर प्राइम नंबर्स टोटल फैक्टर tf वुड बी हाउ मच x 1 y 1 z 1 फॉर एग्जांपल नंबर इज लेट्स से 360 number is there first we have to uh, make it prime factorization can i say this is 4 into 9 into 10 you have to make it fast 4 into 9 36 into 10 360 4 is 2 square 9 is 3 square this is 2 into 5 solving this 360 you will get 2 cube 3 square into 5 power 1 that will be the prime factorization of 360 so total factors of 360 would be how much add 1 to the power that is 3 plus 1 into 2 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 you will get 4 3 that 12 2 that 24 factors of 360 will be there now the concept i want to discuss here is that if a number is a perfect square if a number is a perfect square then its total factors would always be equals to odd why so because the number is a perfect square if a number is a perfect square the power of every prime number would be even p1 would be even p2 would also be even and p3 would also be even there can be more than three prime number also i'm taking three for the sake of convenience so prime factorization of any perfect square will be of the form p1 power even p2 power even p3 power even that we have even discussed in the previous lessons so total factor would be how much add one to the power even plus one even plus 1, even plus 1 and that is odd into odd into odd, odd. Total factors would be odd. This is 18 square we know that. 18 is 2 into 9 whole square that is 2 into 3 square whole square. You will get 324 prime factorization as 2 square into 3 power 4. Now you can see that the in this prime factorization the power of every prime number is even. So total factor would be how much? Can I say 2 plus 1 into 4 plus 1? That is 3 into 5. 15 total factors would be there and that are odd. So very very important concept I am going to discuss here is that if a number is your perfect square then total factors would always be equals to odd. Or vice versa you can say that if total factors are odd given to you that total factors are odd the number will always be a perfect square and that is a very very important concept let's discuss more on factor 360 we know that that was equal to 2 cube into 3 square into 5 power 1 that was 360 now we will discuss here in this lesson about the total factors odd factors even factors and so on so on so on now total factors we know what about the if i want to find the even factors odd factors now first of all let's discuss how the factor actually formed how this formula uh, comes formula we know that we will total factors would be how much we just discussed this would be 3 plus 1 we have to add the powers 2 plus 1 into 1 plus 1 that is 4 3 the 12 to the 24 but how this 24 came into the picture how this formula came into the picture can i say that 2 power 0 2 power 1, 2 power 2, 2 power 3 all individually are the factors of 360 that's part 1 3 power 0, 3 power 1, 3 power 2 these are also the fact individually they are factors of 360 5 power 0, 5 power 1 they are also the factors of 360 now if you take one number from first side first side if you take one number and second side you also take one number and third side you also take one number multiply this and you will get a factor so can i say that each factor ef ef stand for each factor how the factors will be formed you have to take one number from this side one number from this side and multiply it so i'm just writing if every factor how the factors are formed every factor would be uh, first side you have to take one number 
into second side one number and third side also one number for example you have taken 2 power 1 into 3 power 1 into 5 power 0 this will be a factor 2 power 1 into 3 power 1 into 5 power 0 this will be a factor same way if you want to consider this is 2 power cube 3 2 into this this will also be a factor 2 cube 3 square 5 power 1 this will also be a factor another way 2 power 0 3 power 0 into 5 power 0 this will also be a factor so how many ways we can do this we have to take one number from first side how many way we can take one number from the first side we can take one number from the first side first side in first side one number second side one number into third side also one number so how many ways we can take four numbers are there on the first side we can take in four ways either we can take 2 power 0 1 2 or 3 second side three numbers we have to take one three ways third side two numbers 5 power 0 5 power 1 we have to take one number so two two ways to take we can take any of the two ways so 4 3 the 2 into 12 into 2 24 that's how the total factors are counting that's how the total pairs of numbers are possible next is odd factors how to find the to total factors which are odd odd factors means uh, the factors of 360 which are odd for example 3 and 9 how to find the odd factors now very easy this 2 power 0 this is equals to 1 1 multiplied by any powers of uh, 3 and 5 will make the total factors odd whereas because we have to take one number from this side one number from second side and one number from the third side if you will take uh, 2 from the first uh, first side multiplied by any power of 3 and 5 that will make even same way 2 square multiplied by any power of 3 and 5 product will be even 2 cube multiplied by any power of 5 3 and 5 will make the product even and the total factor finally not total factor the factor will be finally even for odd factors we have to take 2 power 0 from the first side we will take 2 power 0 only because 2 power 1 2 and 3 that will make product even second side we can take 3 power 0 3 power 1 3 power 2 third side we can take 5 power 0 5 power 1 now this will uh, if you multiply any combination the product will be odd and that these will be total factors of 360 which are odd now what will be this this is one one number you take from this side one way one number from this side in three ways one number from this side in two ways so total odd factors would be six even factors either you can straight away calculate total factors minus odd will be definitely even factors total factors are 24 odd are 6 total even would be 18 otherwise you can straight away calculate how to calculate the even factors even factor first side second side and third side on the first side you can't take 2 power 0 because 2 power 0 is 1 1 multiplied by 3 and 5 will make factor odd so we will take 2 power 1 2 power 2 and 2 power 3 because 2 power multiplied by any power of 3 and 5 will make the product even this is 3 power 0 3 power 1 3 power 2 5 power 0 5 power 2 now take one number from this side one number from this side and one number from the third side make the product always even so one number we can take in this way three ways three ways into two ways and total 18 ways and 18 multiplications are possible 18 ways we can multiply it one number from this side one number from the first, second side and one number from the third side so total even factors would be 18 next is perfect square factors psqf perfect square factors how to find the perfect square factors of 360 it means that factors of 360 which are perfect square and we know that perfect square the power of every prime numbers power of every prime number is even then only the number is perfect square p1 power is even p2 power is even p3 power is even then only the number is perfect square so perfect square factors we will 2 power 0 will be there from the 2 side 2 square 2 power 1 not be there and from 3 side uh, second side 3 power 0 3 power 2 from the third side 5 power 0 will be there not 5 power 1 now if you multiplied one number from 2 side one number from 3 side and one number from 5 side the product will always be a perfect square for example 2 power 0 into 3 power 2 into 5 power 0 this product will be a perfect square same way 
टू स्क्वायर इंटू थ्री पावर जीरो इंटू फाइव पावर जीरो दैट विल आल्सो बी ए परफेक्ट स्क्वायर सो ऑल पॉसिबल कम्बिनेशन ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन विल गिव यू परफेक्ट स्क्वायर फैक्टर्स सो हाउ मेनी वेज वी कैन फॉर्म परफेक्ट स्क्वायर फैक्टर वन नंबर फ्रॉम दिस साइड कैन बी सेलेक्टेड इन टू वेज वन नंबर फ्रॉम दिस साइड कैन बी सिलेक्टेड इन टू वेज एंड वन नंबर फ्रॉम दिस साइड कैन बी सिलेक्टेड इन वन वे सो टू इंटू टू फोर विल बी ए परफेक्ट स्क्वायर फैक्टर्स नंबर वट परफेक्ट क्यू फैक्टर्स परफेक्ट क्यूब फैक्टर्स आर दो फैक्टर्स विच आर परफेक्ट क्यूब अगेन इन परफेक्ट क्यूब आर दो नंबर इन विच द पावर ऑफ एवरी प्राइम नंबर इज ए मल्टीपल ऑफ थ्री इफ एन इज ए नंबर पी वन पावर थ्री एक्स पी टू पावर थ्री वाई पी थ्री पावर थ्री जेड दिस दिस काइंड ऑफ नंबर विल बी ए परफेक्ट क्यूब बिकॉज द पावर ऑफ एवरी प्राइम नंबर इज ए मल्टीपल ऑफ थ्री सो इन दिस केस फर्स्ट वन नंबर फ्रॉम फर्स्ट साइड वन नंबर फ्रॉम सेकेंड साइड एंड वन नंबर फ्रॉम द third side so one number from the first side we can take in uh, 2 power 0 we can take because one is also a perfect cube 2 cube we can take on the three side 3 power 0 and on the five side 5 power 0 this is only we can take because 5 power 0 is also a perfect uh, you can say that cube one is a perfect cube now we, if you multiply one number from this side one number from this side and one number from the third side you will get the product as perfect cube so one number from this side can be selected in two ways one number from this side in one ways one number from this side in one ways so total perfect cube factors would be 2 what about the prime factors prime factors of 360 are the basically the this uh, p1 p2 and p3 so prime factors of 360 are of 360 are Three prime factors would have. For for example, number is there p one power x, p two power y, p three power z, and p four power let's say theta. This is the number. Now, how many prime factors would have? Prime factors p f prime factors of this number would be how much? P one, p two, p three, p four. That's all. Four four prime factors are there. Four prime factors of therefore. n so prime factor simply you can calculate uh, how many prime numbers are uh, form the big number next concept is very important number of ways of writing a number n as a product of two its of its factor i am taking n as 48 so first i will calculate number of ways of writing 48 as a product of its two factors now first of all i will write the all factors of 48 first of all i will calculate this question manually 1 Two, three, four, six, eight, twelve, twenty-four, and forty-eight. These are the factors of forty-eight. I have written them in ascending order. Sixteen will also be there. So I have written all factors of forty-eight in the ascending orders. Now I have to write a number as a product of two of its factor. Now very important to understand in books there are formula. No need to cram the formula. If you write all the factors in ascending order, if you see that we have to write forty-eight as a product of two factors. Can I say first into last? First into last will always be a forty-eight. So one into forty-eight. This is one of the way to write forty-eight. Second into second last. Two into twenty-four. Again, this will be forty-eight. Same ways, third into third last, three into sixteen. You can also write forty-eight as a product of three into sixteen. Same way, four into twelve. This four into twelve you can write. Same way, and last finally six into eight. So five ways, five ways we can write forty-eight as product of two its factor. Now, what's the basic concept? Is there? You can see that total factors were ten. First, last, second, second, last, third, third, last. How many pairs we can form? Ten factors. We can make five pairs, whose product is forty-eight. So answer will be five. So very, very logical. No need to cram. Total factors are ten. First, last, second, second, last, and third, third, last. In so many, in this way, how many pairs we can make? We can make. Five 
pairs and, and those will be the ways five ways of writing number as a product of two of its factors next concept is related to this concept which says that product of all factors product of all factors now we know that first into last second into second last all will make 48 you can see that first into last second into second last third into third last and so on so on in five times the 48 will be there so product will be 48 power 5 how many pairs we can make of 48 first into last if you multiply it first into last for example uh, I'm just writing product of all the factors 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 into 6 into 8 into 12 into 16 into 24 into 48 now can I see that first last if you multiply it you will get 48 second second last you will get 48 3 into 16 you will get 48 12 into 4 48 6 into 8 also 48 so 48 would be how many times 5 times again by the same concept first into last uh, factor will make the number product you multiply it first and last it will make a number second and second last so how many ways we can do this 10 factors we have so 5 pairs we can fave we can make and in each pair the product will be 48 so product of all the factors would be 48 power 5 so that was all about uh, this lesson in the next lesson i will continue with more on the same topic and in the next lesson i will discuss more examples on these concepts thank you